So everyone, uh, this, uh, this little brief video is going to be all about does divergence really matter? And um, I will tell anyone that asks, uh, when I started studying uh, trading, uh, the first thing I learned was RSI, this indicator right here, right? Uh, and it is something that I use religiously. Um, and, uh, and when I started using it, I thought it was uh, great because you have what's called overbought, these areas right here where they get purple right and they, they go above this line of 70 and um, and generally when things go overbought uh, they might hang up there for a while uh, but they're going to come down right and uh, that happens on every every single time frame uh, this is the one day and we can see right there right um, and as i started getting more and more into the rsi i started looking at something called divergence and divergence is something that I realized was significant. Um, it was a major tool in the tool belt. And uh, I just want to show you this. So as you know, from this morning, right, we, we came out, we did well, dropped big time. And then phew, what a sore, what a sore that was, right? And that was uh, right there at, um, yeah, basically between market close the previous day and then we drop down and market open right and then soared upward now if you were thinking this is going to go to the moon you wouldn't have been alone but there are a couple of things here that could have let you know otherwise but i'm only going to focus on one and that one right here is divergence if you look here at rsi you can just put your line there, right? One reason I, I love, I just love bar charts is because I, it's so easy to just measure things out like this. I put it there at the tip. Notice this high in overbought is higher than that high, right? Quite simply, you could go up here and make a little line and, you know, put it here and you just drag it down. Right? And that's kind of what it looked like, right? Meanwhile, you do the same for price. And we go up here and we say, but up. And we drag it up there, right? Notice these are not pointing in the same direction. That lets me know there's divergence, right? We go to low, from high to higher highs, from high to lower highs. If I'm getting a lower high on an indicator, but a higher high on price, that is what we call bearish divergence. And look at how it played out. Because I know there's a part of me that really wished I would have just sold my gains right then and ran, right? And I'm sure some of you were thinking that at some point or another. You're like, man, I had so much money there for a moment. Well, if you would have been watching for divergence, specifically bearish divergence, you might have been able to catch that and then just load it back up right around here on the bottom. That's a divergence, specifically bearish divergence on the Enzolytic chart. Cheers. Hope it's helpful.